Hi, this is Joel Persinger. I'm the Gun Guy. Thanks for watching my videos. I really deeply appreciate it. Look, I'm in California. As you know, I live in San Diego County, uh, California, and with all the crazy gun laws in California, you kind of want to figure out just exactly what can I have as a, as a defensive rifle in this goofy state with these goofy anti-gun lawmakers that we have making laws that make no sense. Well, I, I keep falling back on my trusty Mini-14 ranch rifle, which is what this is. And I've had this for you know quite some time. It's it's a great rifle. I really enjoy shooting it. If you've watched my channel, you've probably seen me shoot it before. And it is an older Mini 14, so it's got the really thin barrel on it. That's why it, I've done some things to it over the years that I've had it. I've installed an AccuStrut, which made an incredible dif uh, difference in the accuracy of the rifle uh, by about three inches. Or, I mean, it improved it <laughs> by about three inches. Uh, at 100 yards. So that was a great improvement in the accuracy of the rifle. And then I also put in a Mega Ranges um, rail system on the front. I have yet to ever mount anything to it except a red dot for a while, but Optics Planet's going to send me a uh, TLR2 uh, light to put on the front. So as soon as that comes, I'll put that on there and I'll show you that. And then I also, um, I, you know, I, I've always liked the wood stock, but I had it one time in the rain. I don't remember what I was doing. I was hunting something. <laughs> I don't know. It was years and years and years ago. And, uh, and it was so slippery in my hand, I ordered a Hogue overmolded stock, and that's what you see here. And then I bedded the stock, and the rifle actually shoots really, really well. I mean, I've, I've uh, you know, you're going to tell me I'm a lying uh, sack of baloney, but I'm not. Uh, I did some hand loads for it at one point, and I, and I really kind of customized the ammunition. And I actually got it to shoot just under two inches, two, two MOA. I got it down to one and a half MOA. Now, I've only managed to do that with really custom loads. If I'm putting cheap ammo through it, it's, you know, about three MOA generally, something like that. Um, sometimes it can be a little, little worse, a little better, depending. If I buy really quality ammunition that's, you know, real good ammunition for hunting or something, that gets down to the two and a half MOA mode. But frankly, for a defensive rifle, two to three, honestly, even four MOA is still not bad for a defensive rifle. It's, it's in there with an SKS. Uh, or other similar battle rifles. This is obviously not a battle rifle. It's, a, it's modeled after the M14, uh, but it certainly isn't an M14. But it's, you know, kind of the similar Garand style action. But if, you're, if you've got, you know, a group this big at 100 yards, well, you've, you've clobbered the bad guy. And if, you, if you're at 200 yards and it's this big, you've still clobbered the bad guy. So that's kind of what I'm looking for it to do. And, and if I were hunting with it, if I've got an animal large enough that I want to hunt, hunt with it, that my, my target zone is within the size of a dessert plate at 150 yards, 100 yards, 150 yards, 200 yards, I'm going to be able to do that with this gun. Now, is it, is it going to be a, a nail driver? No. Is it going to be as accurate as my AR? No. But it also isn't as finicky, by the way. I, I've had this thing for many, many years, and I've, I've yet to make it jam. Uh, you know, it just runs and runs and runs and runs. It's extremely reliable. Now, like any grand action, it has the one... Uh, issue back here, which is this great big gaping hole in the back. And if you get mud and whatever in there, then yeah, it'll shut the whole rifle down. And you've probably seen, you know, a million and one uh, Garand or M14 or Mini 14 reviews where they dump mud in there and then they complain that the rifle is unreliable. Well, it's not unreliable, but it doesn't have a dust cover there. So as a result, that is one of the problems with them. Uh, if you get mud in them, particularly, or rocks or sand or whatever in that hole, then yeah, it gets right in the heart of the action and then they won't run. But in the environment I'm in, which is a suburban environment, I'm not likely to have that happen. If I, if I drop it, it's probably more likely to be on the sidewalk, on the grass, or on the asphalt, and less likely to be in the mud. So I really don't have that issue where I live. So I thought I'd take this rifle and make it into a, a little improved defensive rifle since I live in California. And I thought I'd explore it with you in case you're interested maybe in getting a Mini 14. Because of the way the DOJ has, has put out their regs, these are going to be entirely legal because it doesn't have a flash hider. It does not have a pistol grip. It has a standard rifle stock, and it doesn't have a forward pistol grip or a collapsible stock or any of the things that California seems to think are, are uber dangerous. It's just a rifle that's semi-automatic that takes detachable mags. Now, I'm, I'm limited to 10, mag, 10 round mags if, they, if the law, the whole magazine thing actually comes to fruition. Right now, the NRA is trying to fight it and get it stopped. 
But if it does, I'm going to be limited to 10 round mags. Right now, I, you know, I, I'm still legal with my grandfathered mags from when I bought it years and years ago. I've still got 20s and 30s and like that. And uh, they're still legal until, until they're not. And then they're not. Um, and there you are. And I'm kind of down to, you know, shooting five round mags because I don't want to be uh, using the other ones. And I'm, I'm trucking them all out to, uh, to Yuma, the few that I've still got left to get them out of the state. Um, but nevertheless, this can be a very good defensive rifle, even with 10 round magazines, a little short on ammo, but you know, 10 rounds is 10 rounds. So there's what I'm doing with it. All right. So with that in mind, I talked to Optics Planet. I got to tell you, I love Optics Planet. <laughs> Thank you very much, Optics Planet, for supporting my channel as you do. They sent me this Vortex uh, 1 to 4 PST tactical scope, which I'm going to review for you in a separate video. So this video is more about the Mini-14 is a California compliant rifle or a rifle in a restrictive state, or maybe just an alternative to the AR-15 for you, because that's what you hear about all the time. Uh, as far as the scope is concerned, which is this Vortex Viper uh, 1 to 4 and the mount, I'm actually going to do a different video on that where I've actually reviewed the scope and the mount separately. And the reason for that is I like to use it for a while. I just put it on the other day. And I like to use them for a while, shoot them for a while, run them, you know, kind of run run it for a while and make sure that I really, really like it and discover things about it along the way. So it'll be a, probably a week or so before I actually review this. So far, I got to tell you, I like it a lot. And if you look at the target that I was shooting at, the scope actually made it easier to be more accurate, as most optics do. But this one's a one to four variable scope. Uh, it has a really clear reticle in it. It was really easy to dial in. The first target, which is the 50 yard target, I used just to kind of dial it in, and I didn't really get too finicky about it. I got it close and left it there, and then tweaked it a little bit on the second target. But you'll notice in that 50-yard group, that was at one power on the scope, and it was from a rest, and the, the group is about two and a half inches. So on those targets, so that you know, the little squares are one inch. So it's pretty easy to see uh, how big the groups are there. And then the other target, the next one was at 100 yards. And I really took my time on the bench, and I was really watching my breathing and taking my time. And I did have one flyer, which was my fault. It was not the rifle. I realized it when I pulled it, and I jerked the trigger. And you'll see that one flyer. So I have a five-shot group there. I got a four-shot group, and then I have the flyer, which is the fifth shot. If you look at the fourth-shot group, or the four-shot group where the shooter, the knucklehead behind the gun, that would be me, <laughs> didn't jerk the trigger, that group is, a, is an inch and a half. That's, that's one and a half MOA with plain old range ammo. I was just shooting the Elemental Arms range ammo that I, you know, I get from them. It wasn't, you know, match ammo or anything. It was just, you know, range uh, 223. That was it. And it still had an inch and a half group at 100 yards. That's outstanding uh, in my book for a rifle it's meant to do what the Mini-14 is meant to do, which is just, it's a ranch rifle. It's a defensive rifle. It's meant to, to run very reliably and still shoot well. Now, if you count the flyer, which we can do, I still have a three inch group at 100 yards. That includes the flyer. And then at 100 yards, I wanted to see what I could do if I just shot faster, if I didn't, still on a rest, but I didn't take my time. I mean, whenever I felt like shooting, I shot and I didn't worry about my breathing and whatnot. And even doing that, I still had a four inch group, as you can see, at 100 yards. And then I went back to 50 yards and I just shot standing. So I, I figured I'm going to grab the rifle, I'm going to twist the, the uh, adjustment on the scope back to 1x. And I'm just going to bang away at the target at 50 yards for a while. And that's what I did. And that's what you see there. And that is about a seven yard, um, which are seven, I'm sorry, seven inch group there at 50 yards. So seven inch at 50 yards. That, that worked out, I thought, very, very well as well. That's quite an improvement for these little inexpensive things. Basically, it was betting the stock and adding the AccuStrut that did it. And that's all you got to do with these older minis. Now, the new ones come out of the box shooting about like this one does. So if you get a new one, they come out of the box just like that. Now, I've also heard that they're unreliable, that they, you know, they break and all that. Well, let me tell you, that's nonsense. That's just nonsense. Ruger builds things like tanks. You could run this truck over, thing over with my truck and pick it up and it's still going to run. Now, if you're in California or a restrictive state, that's another reason to consider it is because of those. So there you are. There's my little primer on the Mini 14. Um, just take it from me. They're a great rifle. I've had one, had this one for a very long time. And uh, I have complete, full confidence in it. And you've now seen how well it shoots with just range ammo. That's it. I mean, this is just elemental arms range ammo. It's not match ammo. It's not hunting ammo. It's just stuff to be shooting at the range. And it shoots really, really well. I think if I can put it in an inch and a half to 100 yards from a bench rest, I've clobbered the bad guys, as I said before. And if I put it in, you know, four inches, 
I've clobbered a bad guy, or or even seven, you know. So that's from standing up. So pretty good, pretty good rifle. I I really like it. Is it for everybody? No, but that's the case with the AR-15 too. So you know, it's different strokes for different folks, as they say. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Have a wonderful week. Uh, please check us out on Patreon. Um, please join the NRA. We've got a link for you to do either one of those things uh, in the description. There, Like I said, there are links to these things that I've added to the rifle. With the exception of the scope, I'll put that link in the review for the scope when the time comes, and, uh, and I'll give you a really solid review on that. Then, I, as I said, I also have a tactical light. That's a stream light coming. That's a laser light combo with a green laser we're going to put on this rifle, too. And we'll do that here in a couple of weeks as well. And then I've got another rifle we're going to do similar things with. So we'll do some various different versions for you for California compliant rifles now that we kind of get an idea of what the regs are. Anyway, thank you again. Have a great week. Be safe.